Red Table Talk may be long forgotten, but these heated moments certainly are not. Welcome to Beyond the Screen, I'm Nate, and these are the top 10 celebrities who called out Jada Pinkett Smith on her own show. Number 10, Will Smith. Kicking off our list is husband, father, and it turns out ex Will Smith. In season three, episode 12 of the series, Jada invited her husband Will onto the show so they could speak openly and publicly about the alleged relationship between herself and singer August Alzina during their brief separation in 2015. The singer claimed that he had to have Will's blessing to begin the relationship, despite the pair technically being separated at the time, and, well, beyond that. Jada confirmed the relationship did in fact take place, but they were on a break. She denies that Will ever gave August permission, but when referring to the situation as an entanglement, Will snaps and makes her correct herself to say relationship instead. While it may have been playful, seeing Will Smith get mad at all after 2022 just brings pure anxiety into my soul. Number 9, Leah Romini. Ah, the world of science. It's the gift that keeps on giving. In 2015, Leah Romini wrote a memoir called Troublemaker. In the book, Leah recounts seeing Jada appearing at scientific gatherings, specifically talking about one instance in particular when Jada refused to participate in a game of hide and seek with Tom Cruise in his backyard. Why does that sound like a dream that I had? When asked on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live for her side of the story, Pinkett Smith said that she remembered things differently and that the game was more like adults innocently playing hide and seek rather than an actual thing. Romini says that she took this as textbook fair gaming, a strategy with scientific folk where they mock and then unrelentingly discredit critics of their beliefs. On Red Table Talk, Smith explained a series of tweets defending her family and their religious beliefs and later stated that she actually grew up in a fairly liberal household and was allowed to explore all religions and just kind of chose which ones that she liked for herself. Romini reminded Pinkett Smith of her high celebrity status, stating that she was interrogated for months after simply asking one member of the crew where the leader's wife was, like not if she was alive, just how she was doing. Things ended civilly between the two, with both agreeing that despite the feud and misunderstanding, that it's never too late to heal. Ew. Number 8, Nick Cannon. TV personality and full-time baby maker Nick Cannon has been open about his disdain for the series for quite some time, denying multiple requests to actually show up on Red Table Talk. After the show's cancellation, Cannon took to Twitter to express his joy, stating that the show was toxic and added that there was too much honesty on a program, saying that he just wanted to mind his own business and asked if everyone else could do the same thing. He also claimed that if it weren't for his involvement with the program, that husband Will Smith would have never even thought of touching Chris Rock's face, but we now know that that's not the case. I understand the hate. Red Table Talk got into too much information territory way too many times to be a normal talk show, and Jada seeks out reasons to bring her family on the air constantly. I'm all for family drama, but maybe not in front of a camera being recorded to share with millions of people, especially got a book coming out anyway. Number 7, Tom Segura. Comedian Tom Segura was one of many celebrities to speak out after the now infamous Chris Rock incident at 2022. Now, I will be paraphrasing the things Tom says, as I don't want to just quote a a series of bleeps over and over again. <laughs> it gets rough. Tom tweeted, This girl has been bald. Jokes about it or her are fine. It was tame AF. You super sensitive about it? Buy a wig. Boom. Roasted. While Pinkett Smith hasn't herself commented on the posts, many fans were quick to defend Jada and call out the comedian as a bully. Fans of Segura know his style, and he kept to that responding to the haters, comparing their sensitivity to a certain member of his anatomy. Before posting a video of him landing in New York City and Dating, just landed in NYP, you dusty, bald-headed snitches. See you at the show. Personally, I'd love to see Jada and Tom go head-to-head -head in a roast battle. If we could put that on the air instead of everything that's been on the air, that would be great. Number six, Gabrielle Union. The beef started 17 years ago, a long time to hold a grudge, but why? Well, they don't really know. Jada brought Gabrielle onto the show to address the fact that despite the two always crossing paths and being cold with each other, that neither could remember what caused the tension. Union called Jada on the phone, and they both attempted to piece together what exactly left such a terrible taste in each other's mouth. They tried and tried, but they could not remember, and eventually Union agreed to appear on the show, where the two just kind of put the past behind them and they laughed it off, chalking it up to the drama of young divas. 
They had a good time on the show, just catching up and discussing life, and it actually apparently turned out pretty okay. I know this is supposed to be negative, but hey, let's all take a deep breath and just enjoy the fact that there was an okay conversation on that show one time, and only one time. Everything else is very bad. Number five, August Alzina. Mentioned previously in the list, August Alzina is a rapper and the former love interest of the star of our list, Jada Pinkett Smith. The two first met in 2015 at a concert for Jaden and Willow Smith, and their connection was instant. The two became very good friends as August was going through some substance control issues at the time, and Smith was this helpful hand that he needed. This would explain why over time their relationship turned romantic after Jada and Will took their brief break from their marriage, but Jada wasn't left alone. August told radio host Angela Yee that he truly and really, really deeply loved her. That is a direct quote. Unfortunately for August, Jada thought it would be a wonderful idea to bring out her husband Will and air out their dirty laundry on Red Table Talk. August was revealed as a secret lover, but the Smiths say that they reached a level of unconditional love within their marriage. But we all know that they've been separated for seven years, so that was bull poo poo. Number four, Jaden Smith. Another member of the Smith family, Jaden is remembered by many as the little guy from the Karate Kid remake, but he's now mainly known for his singing chops and fashion abilities, actually. Jaden has been living in the shadow of his father from day one, being thrust into the limelight before he even hit double digits. With famous parents comes challenges, and one of those challenges seems to be a lack of hugs. The Smith kids are famously left to their own devices and have been financially independent from a very young age, meaning they never really had to ask mom and dad to help buy them something because they just did it themselves. They had the money. They can make that much now. In episode of Table Talk, Jaden confronts his mother on the way he was raised, claiming the style of parenting ruined his life and his ability to connect with people. Jaden has consistently been a good soul in the media and is extremely loyal to his fan base, something that he most certainly didn't learn from his mother. Number three, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian is an American personality and socialite present in the media for years, starring alongside her fellow family members on the hit show Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Chloe released a series of tweets a while back claiming that men blaming the women in the relationship for all of their issues was invalid and hurtful. While this is true, sometimes many have called out the star in her comments during a very famous interview from Red Table Talk in which Jordan Woods came forward and told the truth about an alleged cheating scandal. The man in question, Tristan Thompson, claimed that Jordan performed a number of provocative activities, but she denied many of those claims. Despite this, Chloe publicly blamed Jordan for the breakup and her family and names her as an enemy. During all this, Jada Smith just kind of sat back, watched, and laughed while everything was happening, sipping her tea in a red chair. Number two, Chris Rock. In 2022, Chris Rock was hosting the 94th annual Oscars when he decided to make a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith and her hair loss. It was a great joke. Immediately following the joke, which landed for everybody else in the audience, Will Smith stood up, walked on stage, and clocked Chris in the face. Now, initially, this was seen as a joke between the two, but then Will started shouting several times at Chris to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. It's still burned into my memory to this day. Chris handled the situation well, getting back to the festivities and just kind of keeping the night going along. But then, Will Smith won the Oscar for Best Actor. Rock took to social media to address the controversy and let everybody know that he meant no harm and felt the response to have been highly extreme. He also claims that if Jada had found the joke funny, nothing would have happened. In fact, moments before walking on stage, you can see Will Smith giggling. It's almost like she whispered, get him. And then it activated some kind of a destruct code. Jada posted several videos claiming that Rock was dragging the situation out too long and to put the past behind him. I'm sorry, Smith family. No Ben and Black mind eraser things here. Those aren't real. That was just a movie. It's just a movie, Nate. Number one, Cherie Zampi. No. Don't recognize that name? Well, only hardcore Will Smith fans might, because Cherie is Will's ex-wife. Briefly married in the mid-90s, Will and Cherie were adorable together, regularly appearing at red carpet events and movie premieres. Adorable and inseparable. It's fucking cute. But behind the scenes, things weren't peachy at all. All. It was revealed on an episode of Red Table Talk that Jada Pinkett Smith briefly partook in an affair with Will in 1995. Jada claims that Cherie and Will were towards the end of their relationship and was simply in her eyes dating a newly divorced man. She would later admit that technically that wasn't true and while Will was, duh, 
divorced hadn't really come into play yet. Cherie discovered what was taking place and went off on the couple and not long after, ended the marriage. In 2018, the two got back together to speak candidly about the incident on Red Table Talk. Just another one of the terrible, terrible episodes that I truly recommend that you don't watch. Those are the celebrities who called out Jada Pinkett Smith on her very own talk show. What more can this woman give us? Well, keep coming back to the channel every day to find out. Leave a like, comment, and thank you for stopping me on the screen. We'll see you next time. Comment and please <laughs> keep coming back to the channel every day to find out. Leave a like, comment, and thank you for stopping me on the screen. We'll see you next time. Let's just skip that last line because I don't like it. <laughs> Number seven, there we go.